all right welcome back youtubies to another video um, from ordinary e just an ordinary guy learning about tech and stuff at the moment um, in this video so I've got a laptop here which I've been using for doing all my videos uh, editing and, and so forth and I use it for while we're trying to build a computer for free if you've seen my previous videos in that episode um, and until that's up and running I've been using this laptop now it's pretty old and it's starting to play up so what we're going to do is see if we can fix it um, and also I'm going to try and upgrade the RAM because I understand that uh, RAM can make a big difference performance speed and the rest of it and we'll see let's see if that if that's true so thanks for tuning in guys uh, if you haven't already subscribe hit the like button or don't like it or and, and hit the uh, bell um, yeah let's get into it so what's been happening is a pretty old laptop uh, it served me well um, sentimental value so we're keeping hold of it and we're going to try and give it some new life but it's been playing up lately and I'll just show you what I mean um, so I'm going to turn on the laptop and that's basically what happens I think it's just it's in some sort of boot loop or black screen So yeah, I'd... there you go. So it goes to a black screen and then it goes to a, a lighter black screen. And it just keeps doing that. So what I found out you can do is if you hard turn off your computer for this part, flip your laptop over. unlock your battery and take out your battery and now we turn it on and there you go so it's starting to boot so for some reason oh yeah for some reason your battery affects your booting I don't know why that's happening obviously the battery needs replacing um, so but I don't know why the reason why that would affect you from booting up even though you're hard powered in with a cable um, so obviously it uses the battery initially maybe and then it takes over I'm not sure but obviously the battery's dead needs to be replaced but for now we can still continue to use the laptop without the battery and hard powered on so that's that so that was fixed after a little tinkering i don't know what made me think of that but i just did it and and it happened <laughs> so i got lucky there so yeah if you've got a boot screen that's black and it keeps cycling through that maybe it's your battery that's a sign that maybe your battery needs replacing so here we are in the uh, boot screen uh in sorry in the windows home screen and uh yeah everything works well but um, I just, as I've been learning tech with you guys as well, and hopefully you're learning along with me, uh, RAM. So apparently RAM is an important part of the whole computing process, whereby this is what I've learned how it works. Can you can correct me if I'm wrong in the uh, comments below? But so you have a CP a CPU chip there, right? That initially talks to your hard drive right and then let's see if I've got a, a piece of RAM yeah so I think initially what it does so your CPU will then boot up through your OS system operating system on your hard drive but then when you start using programs and the rest of it that is when your short-term memory which is the RAM comes into play um, just to make things quicker for you. So instead of having to go from the CPU to the hard drive to keep getting information, it says, well, well we know you're using this program. So if you opened up uh, a web browser or any program that you usually use or the editing tool, it says, okay, you're using that. So let's just start storing short term, storing uh, your memory in, in here so that we can just quickly flick between the two informations. 
uh, that you need. Um, and that obviously, and that's supposed to make your system run faster, makes your experience faster, um, and the flow of information faster for you. Um, it doesn't store them. It doesn't, you know, hold the memory for you when you shut down. But it's, it stores it while you're using the program, so that you can quickly access it. So apparently, the quicker, the more gigabyte your RAM is, and the more megahertz or I don't know speed of your RAM, the quicker it can pass that information between the CPU. Obviously, the CPU has to be compatible with your RAM to be able to um, efficiently send the information between them. So they've got to be compatible together. So you've got like DDR3 RAM, DDR4, DDR5, I think DDR6 now. Um, but don't worry about that. We're dealing with old computers, which is primarily for me in my environment is DDR3, I think. Um, so yeah, that's how it works. So because I do render and I want that information and it takes me a, an eternity to render anything and I want that information to start being a bit smoother for me I thought I'd upgrade the RAM so I've been on eBay and RAM's not cheap not cheap if you're if you're trying to get um, four gigabytes or eight gigabytes of sticks of RAM they're quite expensive all right so in order to uh, change the RAM I'm going to show you how to do that on a laptop on a normal laptop is usually the uh, normal way like all laptops will be able to do this. So first of all, we can disconnect all the power, which we've done, so that's all for loose. Um, you're gonna guard here over here, Mr. Hurricane. All right, so this laptop here just has the one screw. So all laptops should have some sort of compartment at the back of your laptop. And in this particular one, there's just one screw holding this in. You just lift this up. Pop it out like so. Hopefully you can see that, and that will expose the RAM, also the SSD there, the hard drive, um, and the battery, um, which doesn't need replacing. So what we're going to be changing is obviously the RAM, like we said. And to do so, you just there's two clips either side. You just push them to to outwards, and then the RAM pops up, and then you just simply slide it out. So. That's the two gigabyte RAM that we're now going to swap for the four gigabyte RAM. So it gives us eight gigabytes in total. And then you simply just, again, line up the notch, just like a PC to have a notch, line it up with the, the tooth, the plastic tooth, slide it in gently, not too hard. Careful, there you go. Once it's in, then you just push it down, let the clips take over, and that's locked in. And that's it, guys. We've now installed the RAM. Um, I can put this one. You can reuse the static bag, so that's cool. Can you hold that for me, okay? Cheers. Uh, and then we just simply put this back. And that's it, we've now upgraded our RAM. And hopefully, it will make a difference. How much of a difference? I don't know. Um, I got a feeling that because the, the CPU, which is the computer chip, isn't really going to make much of a difference. But uh, hopefully, applications and programs will run a little smoother. Okay. All right, guys, so we've now loaded back into uh, Windows home screen. And let's just see if it recognizes the RAM. So we go to Task Manager again, Control, Control, Alt, and Delete. Open up Task Manager. It doesn't feel any faster. Go to Performance. Make it bigger. And yeah, it says we've got eight gigabytes of DDR3 RAM now. Um, available 5.4, so we're still only using 2.1 gigabytes of RAM. But hopefully now everything I do will then 
it's even faster. Open up a web browser, see how quick that is. Not really any quicker, is it? <laughs> oh yeah, that's quicker. That's a little bit quicker. That's probably just the Wi-Fi uh, capability of trying to recognize Google, I guess. I'm not sure if that's fully loaded, but okay. No, it's not. Let's close that. But the real test would be, let's open up um, the benchmark again, Cinebench, and let's see how quick it takes to open. Cinebench, and then what we'll do is we'll run a test. Oh, let's do the stop clock again. So it took two minutes last time. Stop. Okay, so it did. It has. It is quicker. All right. So Cinebench has loaded up almost a minute and a half quicker. And what we'll do is we'll. We'll see if this laptop can run it and see what kind of score we get now. And we've got an option, single core, multi-core. So we'll just do multi-core. And I won't let you sit through the hours and hours that this is gonna take. Um, I'll just forward, I'll just cut that bit out and we'll get to the end and we'll see if we've got a new score. Um, or does the RAM make any difference? It made a slight difference there. And we've now got eight gigabytes. So possibly gaming on here would be better. But I don't do gaming on this. So when I do my editing and rendering, then I'll, I'll probably see a difference there. Um, but All right, ladies and gentlemen. So the Cinebench has finished running. And the score we have, I think it's the same score. Oh no, slightly better. So it's 198 instead of the 194. So while improving, while in upgrading your RAM, um, does improve your score. Now I would say, even though the score didn't jump up very much, the time it took to render was about an hour. So I'd say overall, this laptop is now um, running about 50% quicker in the program application working kind of environment um, situation yeah it's about 50% quicker so super happy with that we'll breathe some new life into my old laptop and you can do the same so just we've got eight gigabytes of DDR RAM in here now so um, that's pretty good we probably could upgrade a few other things which is um, like the SSD is probably 10, 10, 15 years old in here. As the read and write speed of other SSDs are much more quicker these days. So you probably could do that, but overall I'm happy. Um, the real difference is gonna be when I do, uh, when I edit this video. So I'm gonna notice the difference there. Um, one other thing guys, if you know how to access the BIOS of this laptop, cause I don't know, can you let me know down in the comments below? Um, I've tried delete, I've tried F1 when booting up. It's not seemed to work in. I mean, I'll give it another go here. So restart. <laughs> All right guys, so if you enjoyed the video, please leave a like and subscribe and ring the bell for any more videos like this. Let me know in the comments below if you want to see anything else for me to up, if you want to see me upgrade this laptop anymore, I think the only thing I can do more is um, upgrade the SSD really. And does that, will that make any difference? Well, um, I don't know. Um, I can't upgrade the chip obviously, but maybe you can. Let me know if, you, if that's a possibility. Uh, maybe we can upgrade the chip. But yeah, if you like the video, leave a like and please subscribe. And there'll be more different videos coming up. I've still got to finish the PC. 
that we're building so continue watching that and uh, thanks very much i'll see you in the next one